Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're going to talk about Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Nintendo announced this morning that they are remastering three classic Mario games, the 3D Mario games, perennial favorites, for Switch. They're bringing it out, but they're bringing it out for a limited time only. And oh my God, Twitter is pissed. Twitter is so pissed at the concept of Nintendo releasing something in limited quantities and for a limited time only. In fact, how I found out about it was I was trying to figure out why Disney Vault was trending. And I'm like, are they releasing movies from the Disney Vault? I thought that's what Disney Plus was for. And it's about Mario. People are so pissed off about this. And we're going to talk about that. Uh, before we get into it, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. It absolutely helps the channel, guys. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, we keep growing and growing. We're over 135,000 subs, and it's definitely appreciated. We have a gaming channel, too. You can go out and check that out, Clownfish TV Gaming, where uh, you know we'll probably wind up playing Super Mario 3D All-Stars on the channel. And also, check out some of the new products we have in our store at uh, shopclownfish.com at shopclownfish.com we now have embroidered hats that's the new thing for this week embroidered hats they come in blue black uh pink they come in pink <laughs> i like the blue one all right so let's talk about this super mario 64 super mario sunshine and super mario galaxy coming to switch this has been rumored for quite some time i think it's awesome i am absolutely going to pick this up but Twitter does not think it's awesome. They're very pissed off because it is a limited release. This is coming from Polygon. Nintendo is bringing a slew of Super Mario games to Nintendo Switch, including re-releases of Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, and Mario Galaxy, and Super Mario 3D World. The re-releases for Switch are part of Nintendo's 35th anniversary celebration for its iconic mascot in the Super Mario Bros. series. Super Mario 3D All-Stars for Nintendo Switch will include optimized versions of Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, and Mario Galaxy in one package. Nintendo promises higher resolutions and an optimized gameplay experience on Switch. I'm trying to figure out some of the controls on Switch, especially with uh, Mario Galaxy. I guess it would. I guess it would work. I guess it would work. Super Mario 3D All-Stars launches on September 18th and will be available will be available until approximately March 31st, 2021, Nintendo said in a news release. They're also re-releasing Super Mario 3D World for Switch. Super, Mar uh, Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury will be an enhanced version of Super Mario 3D World and launches for Nintendo Switch on February 12th. Uh, so they're also going to re-release Mario All-Stars, the Super NES collection, which I love. Uh, it's one of my favorite favorite games of all time. I played the shit out of that game. I got it for free, if I remember with my Super Nintendo. So you would think this is good news, right? You'd think people would be happy. Like, oh my God, look at all these great Mario games coming to Switch. This is awesome. We can have all the Marios in one place. Uh, you know, everything from, from NES to present, all on one console that's portable. That's amazing. No. No. People aren't happy. Twitter's not happy. Resetera's not happy. They think it's a cash grab. Uh, you know, here we go. Sliced Wrestling. Wow, Nintendo is such a bad company charging full price for Super Mario 3D All-Stars and then putting it in the Disney vault. Everyone on September 18th. That's true. They're going to sell a lot of these. When you realize Mario 64 is uh, 50 frames per second in the All-Star collection, Nintendo of America wants 60 bucks for it and will Disney vault it in six months. Nintendo fans will experience what is essentially their version of the Disney vault with the Mario collection. Oh god, then we find this. The Disney Vault is where they keep all the uh, racist cartoons. This might be the most insane Nintendo has ever been, straight up pulling a Disney Vault with their games. No, there's totally precedents for this, especially on the Switch. I'm going to talk about that. Freaking awesome, except for the limited release thing. Come on, why Disney Vault this? Because it's special. It's an anniversary collection, you know? And yeah, it's, it's a fear of missing out. All these big companies do it. Um, this is a limited edition 35th anniversary collection. Uh, you know, if they, if they kept it out there, you guys aren't going to buy it. You'll, you'll be like, well, I'll just, you know, pick it up next year or the year after that or I'll, whatever. No, they want you to buy it now. 
Uh, Super Mario fans finding out their favorite games are getting the Disney Vault treatment. Limited release. Why is what is the Disney Vault shit? A limited release, says Jason Shearer of of uh, uh, where is he working now? Bloomberg. I think he's at Bloomberg. Yeah, uh, he's he's very confused. He's confused. Why? Why are you confused? They're doing it because they're gonna sell a shit ton of these games. And this is this is me right here. When you see Disney Vault is trending, they're not talking about adding all that old stuff on the Disney Plus. They're talking about Nintendo. <laughs> uh, yeah. So there is a reason that they're doing this. And uh, you know, it, look, they're they're really salty over on Resetera too. This is peak stupidity. I suppose they're just trying to make this collectible to get as many people to buy as possible as quick as possible. Yes, that is, ex that is exactly why they're doing it. Good luck to everyone. This is going to be insane for scalpers. It's going to be out for a few months. I can't imagine how expensive this will be a year from now. Well, look at some of the other uh, limited edition releases. I'm going to talk about this. Uh, I think the limited time release for the physical and digital bundle of the three games are talking about it on Resetera. Um, it's not unheard of. No, everybody's complaining. Everybody's complaining because they're like, well, when I get around to it, it's not going to be available. Well, that's kind of the purpose, because what happens is people wait because they're like, well, I'm just going to wait till this game drops in price or whatever. And uh, it is an old, you know, they're, they're old games. A lot of people already have them for other consoles. So I can't really fault Nintendo on that. If they said, look, we're releasing it for two months and there's only like 5,000 copies of Mario, then that's a problem. But I, I think this is a totally acceptable business model. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. And I want to talk about it because we've actually talked on the channel. Uh, we've actually done unboxing and reviews of limited edition Switch games. This is a thing. There are a couple of companies out there that put out limited edition rare uh, physical releases of digital games and they do limit you know the number of copies they make uh, super rare games provided us in the past with a couple of releases we did uh, world of goo and uh, we did an rpg and these are limited releases and they sell out almost immediately you know how long would it take to sell 5,000 copies of an indie game normally if you're not you know using this strategy and it's not just super rare games limited run games also does it you know they've got titles like grandia hd collection uh you know limited edition they tell you exactly how many copies are being produced i didn't even know they had grandia for for switch damn it um i'm gonna have to yeah it's pre-order for a limited time i'm gonna have to get this i think i'm gonna have to get this one anyway uh, this is something that that is a thing this is the first time that i think nintendo's done it but i don't think it's unprecedented uh, here's another company, Strictly Limited. This is a thing for Switch, especially the limited edition physical release. So I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it is what it is. They're going to do it because they want to sell as many games as possible. And yeah, you know, what's the, what's the purpose of having a special commemorative 35th anniversary item if it's available five years from now, you know? So that is my take on it. Um... Yeah, people are so pissed off. Oh my God. I don't understand. I don't understand. Nintendo's really pulling a Disney vault. Of course they are. Because look, Nintendo is basically the Disney of the video game world at this point. Hell, they're even getting into theme parks. So yeah, uh, it is what it is, guys. If you don't like it, I don't want to tell you. I guess go play the, uh, the originals on your n64 your wii whatever you want to do i mean it's not like you're never going to get to play the game but if you want a special limited edition collector's edition which i do i absolutely want it and i think i'm going to pre-order it today um you're going to have to play ball that's just th those are the rules guys those are the rules all right so i'm going to wrap this one up please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants and we'll talk later